Hey, yo, what it do, what it do, traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in this, but I'm going to be releasing something that I really did not want to release. I'm going to, to be revealing something that I really did not want to reveal. And it's funny because I always tell myself that I'm not going to reveal this. I'm just going to keep this uh, as my own little secret and stuff like that. But, you know, I end up leaking it on this channel. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, bro, what is this channel for if it is not going to help traders as much as it can right and please note that i do not sell anything in the forex trading space i do not offer any investment packages i offer information for free right so do smash on that like button for me guys as more of me to continuously show up here almost each and every day for you guys right so without wasting any of your time let's get on with it right so if you can just look at something here please note that right now i'm currently on my daily time frame right please note that i'm currently on my daily time frame right and on the daily time frame there is this there is this candlestick pattern that is responsible for reversing lower highs and higher lows what i mean by that is on the daily time frame they let us say that this is a bearish trend right on the daily time frame there is this candlestick pattern that most of the time is responsible for what for reversing that lower high right on the daily time frame, you, ju you just keep on seeing one and the same candlestick pattern on the lower high. One and the same candlestick pattern on the lower high, right? And that, the, and let me just show you the candlestick pattern that I'm basically talking about, right? So, this candlestick pattern that I'm basically talking about, right? Let us just do this. Let's go over to our four hour time frame, right? So that we can draw our lower highs and higher lows right you can see that i've got my low right there let's just throw that and then i've got my higher high right there and then i've got my higher low right there and then i've got my higher high right there and then i've got my higher low right there let us now go over to our daily candlestick pattern to see this i mean let us now go over to our daily time frame to see this candlestick pattern that is responsible for reversing price on this what on these higher lows right and if you can just look properly bro this candlestick pattern is the bullish engulfing candlestick pattern but the only difference with um isn't it i think i did explain the different kinds of bullish engulfing candlestick patterns and stuff like that right but if you can just look properly here you can see here that firstly we have this bullish engulfing candlestick pattern whereby the body of this bullish candle right closed above this bearish candle right this is the this is the type of bullish engulfing candlestick pattern that i'm definitely talking about right so you can see that it did reverse price from there right and let us now look at our second high low right there you can see also here on our second high low that this is the candlestick pattern that i'm talking about it also did do what it did uh, a reverse price from our, our our high low as you can see that this body of this bullish candle closed above this bearish candle completely engulfing it right so now let us also look at the third higher low right there and if we can just this is my daily time frame please remember that and if we can just look at our third higher low right there we can see that also we've got the what we've gotten the same candlestick pattern right we've gotten what we've gotten this bullish candlestick right and the body of this bullish candlestick done what it completely closed above this bearish candlestick right as you can see right so on the daily time frame most of the time you are most likely to see these kind of candlestick patterns on your higher lows right these kind of candlestick patterns on your high lows meaning that you are most likely to see what a bullish and gaffing candlestick pattern or a bullish and gaffing candlestick pattern for instance you can see here that we also had a higher low and we had a what we had a bullish and gaffing candlestick pattern on my daily time frame and you can see that this bullish candlestick right the body of this bullish candlestick did what it closed below what it closed below that bullish candlestick right so now how is this going to help me as a trader how is this going to help me as a trader right how is this going to help me as a trader right also you can also see here that we also had a what we we, we also had a, a, a high low right there and on this high low you can see that we had a what we had a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern you can see that this bull uh, this bullish uh, the part of this bullish candle closed above this what this bullish candle right so how is this going to help me how is this going to help me this is going to help me to what identify the correct higher lows 
right this is going to help me identify the correct higher lows for instance let us just say that i was uh, I, I was planning on you can see that the, the, there is my trend line right there right you can see that that is my trend line right there and then i've got i've gotten myself a what i've gotten myself my first touch there i've gotten myself my what my second touch there and then let us just say that i was planning on entering on my third touch right there right so i'm not going to also get in deep with this kind of trading method but i'm going to try and uh, and elaborate as much as i can right so what is it that you are expecting here right what is it that you are expecting here you look at the previous higher low right you look at the previous touch of your trend line meaning that you look at this previous touch of my trend line and then i look whether the bullish engulfing candlestick pattern did form on it and as we can see that we did get the what the bullish engulfing candlestick pattern even if i can go to to to, to another pair bro even if i can literally go to another pair this this is my daily time frame right you'd literally find what this candlestick pattern on my daily time frame you can see here this was my what there was my halo right we've gotten our as ourselves what a bullish and i'm yet to uh, uh, i'm yet to explain how this is going to help you right we've gotten ourselves a bullish and graphing candlestick pattern there is my halo right there gotten out this might be time from gotten ourselves a what a bullish uh, and graphing candlestick pattern so this candlestick pattern plays a huge role in reversing your high lows that is if price is in an uptrend right so now let us just go back right let us just go back let us correct right so now how is this going to help me right so let us say that i wanted to enter on this higher low right there then let, let us say that i wanted to enter on this third touch right so i'm going to look at my previous touch right at, at, at my previous trend line touch and then what i'm going to be looking there is i'm going to be looking where on my daily time from i'm going to be looking whether i did get the bullish engulfing candlestick pattern why is this going to help me right this is going to help me because I, I i would have known that no man price is most likely to not to not what price is most likely to not come back and do what and manipulate what and manipulate this previous high low because i know that on the daily time frame once price gives me a a, 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 a bullish a, a, a engulfing candlestick pattern it just continues to move to the upward it doesn't come and do what it doesn't come to manipulate it it, it, it doesn't come to do what to 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 hit this previous high low right it means now that this high low is locked right it means now that this high low is locked for instance we for instance you can see that also here we had a what we had a lower high right here right we had a what we had a lower high right right there and then on the daily time frame price formed this bearish engulfing candlestick pattern and you can see that price it did fail and you can see that price even failed to do what to come back and take out the stops there to to come back and beat this previous what uh this previous lower high right there right so i know that no man once i get myself a what once i get myself a bearish and galping candlestick pattern on a a, 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 a a bearish trend price is most likely to not come back here right price is most likely to not come back here right so how is this going to help me this is going to help me with my entries this is going to help me with my entries why because now it means now that i can use something that is called pro preferably a buy limit i can now set an alert that when price gives me my third touch here right when price gives me my third my, my third touch there it then gives me a what it, it then gives me an alert right and then what is it that i do i buy once price gives me a third touch there and i put my stop loss here just behind this previous bullish daily uh i, I put my stop loss uh just below this previous bullish uh engulfing candlestick pattern right i don't know if you guys heard me properly there right so what i'm saying is now uh, I'm, I'm going to probably put an alert on my trend line right there right and then what is it that i'm going to do i'm going to place a buy limit and be like okay once price reaches this trend line uh, you, you know uh, I, 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 I place a buy there right and then i put my stop loss where i put my stop loss 
on this previous what on this previous high uh, on this previous lower high right and why do i put my stop loss on this previous lower high i put my stop loss on this previous low high because i had myself a what i gotten myself a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern right on this second touch and i know that once i uh, once i have myself a bullish engulfing uh, candlestick pattern price is not going to come down uh, price is not going going to come to the downward instead this higher low is locked and price is just somehow going to do it continuously move to the upward giving me a series of what giving me a series of high highs and higher lows right so let me just try and find more and more examples right so that i so that you guys preferably get me correctly right so this this pattern happens on my bro this is the daily time frame right this is the daily time frame right look at what we got bullish and golfing candlestick pattern right look at what we got bullish and golfing candlestick pattern these are all my what these are all my higher lows right these are all my what these are all my higher lows right let us also see bullish what bullish and golfing candlestick pattern right that is my what that is my higher low right there so for me to know that no man this higher low is locked for me to know man that this higher low is ba is basically locked right i have to get myself what i have to get myself a bullish engulfing kangly stick pattern right so let me just do this let us just draw our trend line right there let us just say we had our first touch there right comes and then we had our second touch there and then we've gotten and then we want to buy on our third touch preferably right there right so what i'm going to be doing let's just put it preferably like that let's say that we've got our first touch the second touch the second touch and then we've gotten ourselves a third touch right there right so let us say now that i'm basically wanting to buy here right that's saying now that i'm basically wanting to buy here right i'm going to look on my previous second touch there. i'm going to look on uh, on my previous uh, uh touch right and then what i'm going to be looking here i'm going to be looking where the price did give me a bullish and gaffing candlestick pattern on my daily time frame right and if it did give me a bullish and gaffing candlestick pattern on my daily time frame i'm now going to put a buy limit there Oh, I'm going to wait for price to reach my trend line right there. And then I'm going to buy this pair. And then I'm going to put my stop loss below this bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. Why am I putting it below this bullish en en engulfing candlestick pattern? Because on the daily time frame, I, I now know that on the daily time frame, once I get myself a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern on an uptrend or on, an, or, or on a downtrend, I now know that no man, this higher low is locked this higher low is locked and price is most likely to not just come uh, price is most likely to not ca come to the downward and then beat my stop loss but instead price is just going to to to, to try and you know continuously move uh with a series of what with a series of higher highs and higher lows right so let's just come back to our example right there for the last time let me just explain this for the last time right so what i said here is just throw my trend line just throw my trend line right there right so what so what what i basically said here is that here you can see that i had my bullish engulfing candlestick pattern right i had my bullish engulfing candlestick pattern and once price gives me a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern on my daily time frame it doesn't come back down bro to do what to take out the stops or it doesn't come back down to beat this previous higher low once price just gives me my bullish en 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 engulfing candlestick pattern on my high low i know that that low is locked i know that that high low is locked right so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to to betting for price to give me my third touch right there so that i can put my, so that i can put my stop loss below this previous bullish engulfing candlestick pattern below this bullish engulfing candlestick pattern why because i know bro that this higher low is locked what do i mean by locked i mean now that price is most likely to not come back down and mess up this higher low right price has to somehow find a, a, a level where it's going to reverse off from and then move to the upward right 
right so if you are, if you want me guys to get in deep with this trading method do smash on the like button and do leave a comment saying that i should preferably get in deep with what i am unpacking here right and if you do not understand and if you've got any questions right you can leave a comment see you in the next one cool cool